So you're not trying to get business right on the first call. You're just introducing yourself and saying, check me out, and I'll call you back in a little while. Is that no, what you're I won't saying? Even say, no, I'm just talking about, hey, I've looked at your jobs. You have this VP of operations open. I'm interested in filling it out. Okay. I've noticed that in the past with you. You're always checking to see if they're looking. You only call companies if you see they're looking. Am I right about that? You don't just call out of the blue and say, hey, no, I'm I, I, Yeah, exactly. But it's really looking at the pain. Where's your pain? You're looking at, if there's a VP of ops that went out yesterday, that's one thing. If it's been three months, we're calling, we're talking. Okay. And, so you, you wait to find the ads that have been there for a while. Is that it? I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, I look at that and see who hasn't been. Well, who hasn't, you don't want to compete with their ad response, do you? You don't want to compete with that, but you also want to know that there's pain because if there's no pain, they're not going to react and it's not a priority. Okay. How do you know there's pain? Can't you see what I'm trying to do, Ernie? No, I'm trying good. to say that if it's gone three months already, you know there's pain. <laughs> so you use the date. How do you determine there's pain? Because someone else is doing it and you ask them, well, you know, this job's been open for three months. Who's, okay, who's no, no, but you didn't. So you do wait. Uh, to, you only go after the jobs that have been posted for a long time. Am I right yeah. about that? Yeah, pretty much. But if I see something I know and I have a candidate that I know can fill their slot, then I will call them right away. Okay.